so initially to begin with the particle is found at this position x velocity of a particle executing simple harmonic motion the expression for the displacement of a particle so angular velocity is rate of change of angular displacement and it is the maximum displacement amplitude highest hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore the previous session we started discussing a very beautiful chapter called oscillations where we told one complete to and fro motion of a particle about its axis mean position is called oscillations and we ended up discussing a very very important topic called simple harmonic motion we told s h m is the simplest form of oscillatory motion the most basic form of oscillatory motion to execute simple harmonic motion the particle should move to and fro about its mean position acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement of the particle and acceleration is directed opposite to displacement now continuing my discussion on the simple harmonic motion we do a very important book work in today's class this is a very important five mark question asked in the examination where we derive an expression for the displacement of a particle executing simple harmonic motion displacement of a particle executing simple harmonic motion now i consider a particle initially placed at x so a particle which is placed at this position x initially when i say initially it means to begin with when the time t is equal to 0 so initially to begin with the particle is found at this position x now in a certain interval of time t the particle moves to the point p the particle is displaced to the point p so the particle moves in a circular path of radius a 
making an angular displacement what we call as theta. So here it has moved from x to the point P making an angular displacement theta. And where A is the radius of the circular path and theta is the angular displacement. First we calculate the angular velocity of the particle in a time t. How do I define velocity? Rate of change of displacement. So angular velocity is rate of change of angular displacement or angular displacement divided by time is omega angular velocity. And angular velocity therefore is theta divided by t. Angular displacement is theta, time is t or theta is omega t. So as the first part of the calculation, I have calculated the angular velocity of the particle, which by definition is angular displacement divided by time. Omega angular displacement is theta. Time is t or theta equals omega t. Now, I consider the triangle OMP. So, I am considering the triangle OMP from which I am calculating sin theta hypotenuse so OM by OP so OP is the hypotenuse OM is the opposite side here OM is Y OP is A so sin theta is equal to y divided by a or from this expression y equals a sin theta. But what is theta equal to? Omega t. So y is a sin omega t. And this is the expression for the displacement of a particle executing simple harmonic motion. So here afterwards, whenever we consider expression for displacement of any particle executing simple harmonic motion, we have y equals a sin omega t. So remember, the first part of the calculation, we calculated angular velocity, where omega is angular displacement by time, Angular displacement is represented by theta. So omega is theta divided by t or theta is omega t. From the triangle considered, sin theta is om by op. Om represented the displacement y. A was the radius. So, Y is A sin theta. 
theta is nothing but omega t so y equals a sin omega t and this is the expression for the displacement of a particle executing simple harmonic motion now a is also called the amplitude value so we had y equals a sin omega t where a is called the amplitude value and it is the maximum displacement amplitude highest peak and karitivi maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position so a represents the amplitude value which is the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position and as i told this expression gives the displacement of the particle from the mean position now talking about the velocity of the particle executing simple harmonic motion previously i have derived an expression for displacement in terms of amplitude now i derive an expression for the velocity of the particle executing simple harmonic motion now by definition what is velocity it is the rate of change of displacement displacement divided by time is velocity do i have an expression for displacement this represents the displacement equation for simple harmonic motion so velocity is derived as dy by dt concentrate maadi that is why i am highlighting on differentiation here velocity is dy by dt substitute for y v equals d by dt of a sin omega t because y is nothing but a sin omega t what did we call a as a was the amplitude or it was the maximum displacement from the mean position so it is a constant you cannot have anything more than that a itself is the maximum displacement and differentiation says all constants can be taken outside the differential symbol so bringing out a it is d by dt of sin omega t now i use a standard differential here d by dx of sin ax where a is a constant is a cos ax this is a standard form which you will study in your differentiation d by dx of sin ax is a cos ax then what is d by dt of sin omega t instead of a you have omega so omega 
cos omega t. So velocity is a is already here. d by dt of sin omega t, which is omega cos omega t. So velocity of a particle during simple harmonic motion is a omega cos omega t and maximum velocity is always a times omega. So displacement is y equals a sin omega t v is dy by dt substitute for y a sin omega t a is the amplitude maximum value take it out d by dt of sin omega t is omega cos omega t so this is the expression for velocity of a particle executing simple harmonic motion and maximum velocity is omega a and therefore we say velocity of a particle executing simple harmonic motion is maximum at the mean position and minimum at the extreme position. So students in my today's this session, I have derived an expression for velocity, maximum velocity and shown velocity is maximum at mean position and minimum at extreme position. We have also derived the displacement equation. Next, we continue with force law and energy during SHM. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.